Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I am Tarun and in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the T3 app okay I have already created a promo and the, the video like what we are going to build in this video so our final agenda is to just understand all these stack next JS TypeScript TRPC Prisma and the next talk I mean separate videos I already have covered about how to work with Prisma next JS how to use Next.js for Next.js 13 for building SSR app, how to use the Next Auth for adding the authentication in your application. Now we are just going to combine all of these together so you can correlate things like how the Prisma ORM works, what is the TRPC server, how we are creating a TRPC router and how we are writing the migrations and using the Prisma client using Prisma and next auth for adding the authentication layer for our next js application so these are really important and uh, part of the modern stack this t3 stack so what we are going to do first we will talk uh, independently like wha wha how the trpc works okay you might have heard about grpc trpc http all these different protocols and how they work so we will see how trpc different from all of these and then we will use create a simple trpc server which can be used by our next js apis to receive the data okay so let's get started so here we will simply do npm create t3 app and we will do yes so we are just using in like a cli setup like same as the create react app there is a t3 app that should give us some uh, boilerplate okay what is the app name is okay let's say two or maybe notes builder okay i will be using typescript okay next auth prisma tailwind which package would you like to enable so next auth prisma tailwind trpc because uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use all these uh, all these different stacks together i can try to zoom a little bit initialize the git repository npm install that's fine you can do it uh import alias uh, also i see yes and it is setting up a simple boilerplate instead of uh, looking for some boilerplate outside you can actually have a simple scaffolding uh, available that contains all these three different components uh, trpc tailwind prisma and the next auth and once this is done we will open this project and we will try to just uh, introspect about the code and we will just try to look into this it's all about looking into the code and understanding it first so here we can uh, look into the folder structures uh, what this uh, boilerplate contains and we will understand these four components together here you can see the tailwind config uh, which has been added and if you look into the package json here we i can also see the post css so if you see we have post css prettier these are like dev dependencies which uh, which are not going to bundled in the final next step auto prefix are post css is for the tailwind and then we have prisma that is just for uh, creating the migrations and all tailwind css typescript for compilation so if you look into the main dependencies jord and super json is needed by trpc and dzola trpc dependencies trpc client we need to have trpc next js and trpc provide hooks using react query and then trpc server because we are creating a, a trpc server and then 10 step react query and then next auth because we are using prisma adapter and we are using next auth for authentication Prisma client is in the main dependency because we need to use Prisma client only to access the database. So these are the, the main dependencies and these are all dev dependencies which doesn't needs to be in the final uh, bundle. 
you can see that it contains only uh, the types all the types for the react react dom prettier node eslint and eslint prettier post css auto prefixer and all now if we look into the source so there is a prisma prisma schema file which contains the the provider client and db so if we and all the different models we have so these are the the different different models like uh, when you are using a prisma as an adapter which also manages the the user sessions which also persists the user session then you need all these tables so it's like a simple uh, table we have this is the client and this is the data source we are currently using SQLite, but you can replace it with the, the Postgres or MySQL. And inside source, it's just like a simple example. This server contains the TRPC server. Pages contains two things. This is the root page, which will be published on the forward class. And we are using next auth. So you can see we are using next auth react to check uh, if user has been logged in and if user has logged in then what is the data in the user session you can see we are getting the user session data session data dot user using youth session because we are using next auth so might be are you, maybe you are familiar already with the next auth prisma and trpc but if you are not then i'm not going to just uh, bypass all these topics we can do a simple next auth topic discussion I already created a demo session end to end application using next auth but if not I will just talk about it and then we have trpc server so here you can take you can see there are two things the, this is the next js api route which is indirectly going to call the api endpoints exposed by the trpc router <clears throat> So our app, this sample application is nothing but a react component is being rendered on the forward slash that is using next auth for managing the sessions and here in this api you are doing some uh, api calls this next auth is actually uh, uh, it is using the default options but uh, how this works is in the next auth you just need to create this dot 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 next auth route so it can handle all your sign in sign up all these different different routes and here, here you can see the default next auth configuration it is using discord for social login you can replace it with a google github or facebook and then we have trpc so what it is doing is it is actually creating this handler this is the api handler which is using this uh, trpc router so whatever the next js is getting the request all these requests are being forwarded to this uh, trpc server to handle and respond okay so this is our trpc server everything of the everything related to trpc is inside this and this is all our next js stuff next js can also exposes the apis so there are auth apis for the next auth library these are the trpc uh, endpoints all the endpoints which are which starts with the trpc will be handled by this handler and what this handler is doing this handler is forwarding this call to the trpc server because we are using trpc router app router coming from api root and here it is just using example router which is providing these uh, two methods get all and get secret message so what we are going to do is we will see how you can write a simple client to call these trpc api endpoints uh, are we doing it let me check so here you can see we are already doing something so here we are using trpc context apis and here we are using use query so what we are trying to get there is an api exposed by trpc server here we are actually trying to call, call this method get secret message and if you remember if you have heard about rpc remote processor call so what happens is that rpcs were exposing the method names signature names and the method names so the same thing is happening with the trpc i will talk about the trpc in the detailed separate session here we already have these two methods i know that this trpc router or server is exposing these two methods which i can call from my client so how the client is calling it it is using this like there is a react query similarly uh, here we are calling it api example and this api we are importing from the utils api this is the client context has been created 
So this is how you, how you will create trpc next uh, client okay once you got the api client what you can access on top of that this is the app router that is using your example router and you can call these methods get all and get secret message you can query those from your uh, components so this is my simple component here what i'm doing is api dot example it is using example router and then there is a get secret message and we are just passing the using the use query this is a hook that will help us to fetch the data so all this data will be received and we are destructuring it and that data we are trying to print on somewhere uh, i can see the secret message we are showing here you can see so we can just try to run this and see how it really connecting all these different dots what we need for it is it is using uh, sqlite so i think we don't need any docker compose files because sqlite is a file based uh, database which uh, it is using database url we need to have inside env so it is using db.sqlite next auth url is this and next auth secret also we can use hello uh, secret that is while while you are creating a token what you need okay so what we will do is we will try to start this application and uh, we will also run the prisma migrations prisma generate so we can have those uh, tables created in the sqlite okay you can see prisma generate it is just generating a prisma client so here we already have npm install so i will do npm run uh post install i mean i will just do npm install that should be able to do run the post install and that post install will create a prisma client so that has been added you can see that has been added in the node modules and all the the models whatever we have that will be added here so what i will do is uh, migrate it can be another thing is migrate i think uh, that is the command npm uh, npm run migrate so enter the the migration name is the demo and what it is doing is it is creating this migration dot sql file you can see db dot sqlite file and here you can see simple sql file i mean based on looking at the prisma schema Prisma schema already contains the definition it wants. You can see this is a Prisma schema which already contains. Okay, these are my models example, more account, session, user, verification token. All the, the models which are required to make Prisma as an adapter and to persist the session. And here this migration is telling me that this SQL has been generated and uh, it, it will also apply it has also applied those uh, changes to your database so you can see dbc collide that already contains all these tables this is the file based database okay we'll close all of these and then i will start uh, this thing npm run dev so it is starting on 3000 port now let's see that and you can see client and server successfully created so this is the output we are getting create t3 app okay and i can just do the sign in currently i'm not passing uh, the discord credentials so i think it will fail you can see try signing with a different account because when you look into this api or sign in i was pro i am not providing the discord credentials so i can pass something like a uh, simple google sign in credentials so we can just do the login with the google so here we can just try to use maybe github like uh, for if you are using google provider then you need to pass a google id and google secret so i think i can use a github provider for that uh, what do you need we need to have both these credentials available google id and google secret 
okay let's configure them so we can just use uh, one of my google app so i will go to api and services and i think that should be in the credentials and i will check uh, so we just need a uh, auth client id and a secret right so here we have a google id client id and the secret i can create one new app auth client id and here i will just pass the credentials the name application type which we need is a web, web app right web application and it's like next auth app local host 3000 this is the origin authorize redirect uri i think we need to hit uh, authorize redirect uri so we, we need to add all these uh, information redirect uri and then it will give us the client id and the secret now we need to fill the form and add all the values next auth f and this is the this form is really important otherwise uh, you will start getting the the random errors which you will not know so first of all origin is localhost 3000 right and then there is a uh, callback url authorized redirect url so that will be api auth callback google so uh, this is the enough data we need 3000 is the host auth client id and client id and the secret i can just copy Okay, so that is a Google client ID and a Google client secret that I can add in my ENV. Google client ID and the client secret. Okay, so this is Google provider and uh, we just need to change the imports okay because now we are using google provider so if i go to the code auth.js instead of this i can be using google provider so now the imports i will be getting from google and here i can say google provider and i will just change the definition here this is the google client id and google client secret that does not exist on this url env okay there is a type we have created in the env so i will try to fix that this should be google client id that should be of type string that is just validation of these types and now i will start my application again Okay, there is some error fail to load the uh, client id and client secret is required okay that is true so what we will do is we will just check are we passing all the, the properties or not so this is coming from next.config.mgs okay so this is client id is required and that is coming from next auth so i can dot env let's uh, just see what we are doing is google client id and google client secret so let's see where are we using discord we think this is here and here we just replace this to the google client id
so we'll just replace the discord with the google client id and then here just replace the discord with google okay so anything else we need to take care otherwise what we can do is we can start running the server the server started and uh, it is just loading that pages now uh, what we can do is uh, we can just try to play around like let's see if it is able to log in with this or not Sign in with Google, okay. Okay, so this is uh, how that is happening, right? You can see loading TRPC query and logged in as a code studio. I mean, loading that is another thing. I will check uh, why this uh, TRPC API is not responding. But what we have done, we have added a next auth with the Google sign in. So when you are trying to click on to that, it will just redirect you to the Google. Uh, sign in page where you have to accept okay i can i want to share the information with this particular application then you will be able to successfully logged in so this is a simple and next auth uh, sign in mechanism using next auth you can use a firebase you can use a google you can use an auth zero any kind of provider you can use and you can plug that in as an authentication solution for next auth application and here we can see this message is also coming from trpc hello message right so if we just see the trpc implementation this is our handler and it is calling our server and here you can see our example router and what you can see what it is returning when you are just calling this uh, greetings it is returning you can now see this particular secret message and this is the message we are getting right Login is a AI is code uh, code studio and now you can see the secret message. So get secret message we are calling in the client component in the next JS. So here you can see secret message and the secret message we are just adding after just user name. Okay, your this is your username and you received a secret message from the the TRPC and here we are using use query onto that particular method which is defined in the TRPC. So this is the stack is a combination of TRPC and the Prisma. The role of the Prisma is to persist the user session. You are currently logged in with the Google. So you, I mean, we didn't create the user, but if we check the database uh, in the SQLite, can I query this? So this is the Prisma and this is the DB dot SQLite. Okay. We won't be able to access it. So this is the database. I will try to open a SQLite editor and then we will see okay what all data has been created for this particular session using next auth because if you see the next auth configuration this is auth js so if you are not familiar with all these components separately just hold on to the next video here i'm just explaining these different different building blocks this is your next auth auth options and it contains the callback the providers here we are using google provider for the login adapter we are using prisma adapter so that it can use the prisma models to to persist and query the database so it is just storing your sessions onto the database okay and these are just the typings we have added so let's try to see uh, the inside story of this sqlite database i mean you can replace with it with the postgres and uh, you can just see the data inside that this is how you can uh, connect to your sqlite database select file and here i will just select the sqlite and connect and here i can see all the tables which has been created so this is the user which we have received from the google authentication and this is the session so here you can see the session to token is being persisted to the database this is how the the next oath uh, uses database for the persistence because here we are storing the session token and uh, just account account the, the basic account information 
ID token and uh, the user ID and all which is received by the Google this auth type uh, provider account ID and all but the important point is this how we are managing the session so this is the session token which we are storing respective to the user ID and this is the expiry okay so this is how uh, this provider really works because you can use a Prisma provider Postgres uh, sorry type ORM providers providers just adding these tables and helping you to persist your session into the database because if you are using next auth then most of the time you are not using the database as an adapter what you are doing is you are just creating this GDP group you are generally creating this GDP debt to the client so client is using this stateless JWT token to access the protected resources but this is how when you are using adapter so the next auth works in both the way you can use the database as an adapter or we you can just use a uh, you just don't need to store the database session i mean session on the database you can just use this simple jwt token to manage the sessions okay so now what is the, the next point we ha i have just i've just shown you how it the demo really works it is a simple demo which we are getting already now i'm going to create a couple of application which is a combination of a next js prisma next js prisma trpc next js prisma trpc tailwind those different simple simple applications will help you to guide through like how this really works the prisma prisma it can be an orm but it is really easy to handle and create the tables and run the migrations and all okay so uh, stay tuned what we are going to do we are going to just work on couple of uh, applications like let's say i just wanted to write a simple authentication in the next js without next auth then i wanted to use a next js with the next auth and tailwind then i wanted to use a next js with the next auth with the prisma and the tailwind all these things together so that is the beauty of this t3 stack it combines uh, you can just add whatever you need from the stack